Uh, Essex? Um, don't think I've ever been to Essex. Down south it is. Down south is Essex. Core blimey, me old cock sparrow. That's more London, I think, isn't it? I don't know that part of the country that well. That was a terrible accent. I know, it's a terrible accent. It was meant to be a terrible accent. It was meant to sound like you. <laughs> but, uh, I, well, actually, I have met a couple of people from down there. Some of them do have really thick, strong accents. Cajun's quite a strong accent, like uh, Louisiana type area in America. Yeah, that's that sort of region. Up this hill. That's more London, is it? So what's what's how would I tell the difference between an Essex accent and a London accent? I probably I would probably struggle. I think it uh, without trying to sound racist. When you get down to the southeast of the country, it just all sounds the same to us Northerners. And I'm sure that we all sound equally as bad to people from other parts of the country. Like I love um, I love the southwest accent, Dor Dornwall, Cornwall, Devon. Dorset, but I couldn't tell you um, who was from each particular county, but I bet locals could. Like, uh, around here, I can tell you straight away if someone's from my hometown, Richmond, or from Darlington or Middlesbrough, which are both 12, 16 miles away, because the accent's so different. I can tell you instantly, but, um, well, actually, I know, I think, I think even you could probably tell a borough accent from my accent. Uh, without having to spend any time in this part of the country, they, they are quite different. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. You're from Israel, and I just you there with the accents. Uh, you can, yeah, um, sorry, did you miss a word out there, um, Atifizra? Just lost you there, I see, yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd missed the word out of that. I've got the horn. I have that horn for you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I think the developers put this in on purpose. When he finds out. As for you, the old man says you're in. I'm in. So what's now? Yeah, what's what? What's going on now? Last time you told me that if I brought the horn, you'd finally tell me what's going on. Let's put it this way: our old man's had it in for Master Huntsman Nicholas for years. Okay. Why does he have it in for him? There's more than one reason. But the heart of it is, Nicholas lied under oath and almost got him hanged. That's a... It's, uh, it's Hannigan it's Hare. The man is not just a legend. It wouldn't by any chance be that Hannigan Hare everyone's talking about, would it? Hear ye, hear ye. The lad is smarter than he looks. It is him, as it happens. What have you been hearing about him? I've heard all sorts, actually. I didn't hear that he was innocent. Let's start with the sorcerer. I've heard all sorts of things. Some people said he's a sorcerer who can talk to animals. <laughs> I'll have to tell Hannigan that one. It's no surprise, though. To this day, folk can't get their heads around that escape of his. And how did he make his escape? What do I know? He's never told anyone. Anyway, if you want to know the details, ask him yourself. Yay, so we get a chance to uh, talk to him then. What's he trying to achieve? If you want to know, ask around the village what they think of the Master Huntsman. The old man is making a bigger and bigger fool of him day by day. Soon enough, the gossip will reach the ears of Sir Divish himself. And that's just what the old man wants. You're going to send me to talk to Sir Divish? So, what comes next? We're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods. There's a concealed glade, and that's where you'll find us. All right, I'll meet you there. Okay. Good luck, then. Go to Captain Robard. Uh, really? Okay. There are some optional bits to this quest. I need to pay attention now, otherwise I'm going to end up doing the wrong one. Um, it's the hare hunt. Ask around the village. Find out what happened to Thomas. Go to Captain Robard. I think there's something... I feel like that bit's not finished because it's done all the other ones. Don't know if that matters. Um, optional, meet with the poachers in the clearing. Yes, please. Let's just take off that pestilence for a minute. 
You only track three side quests. Sorry, I thought I took that off. Pestilence. Off. What's Masquerade? Oh, God, yeah. There's that one as well. Um, okay, that, that's going to be a daytime one, surely. So back to the inn. Okay. Back to the inn. Let's go and see if we can meet old Thomas of the Bats down there as well. Am I getting lost again? I can't see where I'm... What's this? Castle? Oh, castle walls. Okay. I should have probably followed... Is there a road that takes me down? Yeah, if I follow, I think I can follow that safely. So let's go down here. Whoa, hang on. Is this a great big steep hill that I'm going to fall to my death from? I don't fancy doing two hours worth of gameplay again. If it's going to happen, it's going to be me running around in the dark on the road. Right, we're good. In time, I think. Makes you wonder if English was much different in that time period in the game. Would we understand them? There would be a lot of different... I was wondering about this the other day, actually. How far back could you go in time in your own country and still communicate easily with people? How much has language changed? I mean, obviously, there's new words as new technology comes out. So, But that's a, that's a different issue. Um, I don't know how far back we could go in England or Britain and still understand people, still communicate easily. It's... Uh, all language develops over time. So, yeah, curious. Shame we'll never get to find out. I don't want to be in there. I do have an inn. An inn. I do have a bed in this place somewhere. In here, maybe? Oh, not in there. <laughs> not in there. Oh, hang on. In here. Yep, that's it. You have trouble understanding the wife, EB. <laughs> I'm assuming that you, you, she's not... Uh, uh, it just have like a, a really strong accent, or it comes from another part of the country, or a different country, or is it just that she's the wife? <laughs> Let's sleep. All the way through. What time is it? So if I go... I need to eat when I wake up from this, I must remember. And wash as well. Just the other side of Hull. Okay. Still northern then. Hmm. So if you had to listen to someone doing an audio book, what would be your favourite accent to listen to? Say someone was uh, reading out Lord of the Rings or some epic, uh, some, it's just some epic audio book, one of your favourite books. What accent would you like that to be in? Or what particular actor or actress? I always think Stephen Fry makes a really good narrator those sort of things. Hang on, is there any food in here? I haven't eaten for a little while. Something God other than... You, is she Henry. brushing my... She's sweeping my horse. Nice. Oh, hang on. Wash time. Oh, you thought... You said Stephen Fry was great too. So mine? Well, that's that's a great compliment. Don't know if I could make it through an audiobook. I tried reading The Hobbit to the kids. And after a couple of pages, I had a sore throat. <laughs> Although uh, I must must get back to doing that. How much does that fill me up? Nice, almost a full. We're good. Brian, blessed. He has a, a pretty strong voice. He's in this game somewhere. Although I haven't met him yet. Team Fry's good. Irish female. Nice. Ian McKellen. Yeah, he can. He's got a good uh, speaking voice. Definitely. Although I was never aware of him until I uh, watched Lord of the Rings and saw him as Gandalf. 
Patrick Stewart, now that you mention it, he's, he can be a good narrator. He was he did the voice of the Emperor in, was it Oblivion? I think it was Oblivion. So, uh, Sean Bean, actually. Tom of the Baths. So I'm supposed to be going up here then. I have a, why is that still on? I am sure there's something to do with this, but... Hmm... I'm going to go back and talk to him. I feel like everything else is finished but this one. Here he is. Put your torch out, thanks. I don't need that going. Getting ahead of myself My there. Right. Just tell me. I hear there's been trouble with poachers recently. I don't have time to talk to strangers. Good day to you. Well, God be with you. If I am supposed to get any more information out of him, it's not from there. Helmet off. I'm leaving that on because there's going to be a fight at some point. So, Unless I took it off, did I? No, it's still on. It's cool. Klaus Kellerman? Klaus. Klaus makes some really funny videos, but... Uh, I don't know whether I want to listen to an entire audio book by him. Right, so we're going here. Can I take a shortcut? Let's try a shortcut. Des from Des Games. He'd be pretty good. He's definitely got a, he's got a like really strong, deep voice with loads of bass in it, which is which is generally good for narration and things. James Earl Jones, the voice of Darth Vader, and also um, the, I can't remember the name of the character, but from Conan the Barbarian, the Priest of Set. Yeah, he's got a good voice for that sort of thing. You just listen to Max Brooks reading his World War Z, he was pretty good. I don't think... Uh, I don't think I've heard... I don't think I've heard him. Richard Burton? The sadly deceased Richard Burton? The the British actor that I'm thinking of? Who played the first emperor in Gladiator? That Richard Burton? Hello? Who's this dude? Just a wayfarer. Oh. Have I overshot this glade? Or have I just got lost? <laughs> From Conan, good old Arnold. He'd be interesting to listen to. Oh, hang on, I found a proper poacher's camp here. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're the new fellow. Lucas said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lucas tell you who's in charge? Is this the, is this him? The elusive Mr. Hare? Oh, hang on, I've seen him before. Well, speak of the devil. Started to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped. Oh, head. maybe not. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. <laughs> not writing your will already, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Didn't find that funny. Henry. Lukesh brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. It's Robin Hood, isn't it? Everyone, is it that full radar on the charcoal burner? No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. <laughs> what am I getting involved in here? So, Henry, 
Tell me about yourself. <laughs> well, you know, I got the horn. Why you came here? Where you come from? You know how it goes. I want to know your story. What if I don't have one? Everyone has a story. These ways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir! Wait. Sir! The Tomberkers are coming! This wasn't me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um... Hanukkah Hair of Zalush. I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? Henry in the middle. Oh, no. Hang on, hang on. I, I can talk them out of this. Henry? Oh, God. What do I do, chat? What do I do here? Um, Sir Divish, he's going to give me a job in the future running a village. I've bedded his wife. I've led an attack with his men on a bandit camp. I'm going to rescue his castle at some point. Do I fight his men off here? Or do I go with this guy who had some injustice done against him? Run. Save. Save. I saved at the... Did save at the end. I can load this in if I need to. <laughs> GTFO. <laughs> but what to choose? Uh... I'm going to side with her because I don't know who sent these people. Let's see what I this does. Nothing to fear. What are you doing? The pig turns up willingly. Oh, God. Can I just... I don't want to kill these people. God damn. Can I just... Uh... You're gonna cry now. Can I do anything from behind these or not? Beat them up? Do I have to kill them? Oh, this is stupid, isn't it? This is stupid. Right. Okay, I'm going to have to kill him. I don't know if this is a good idea. Block, block, block. I don't know if... <laughs> this might be a really bad idea. This is looking worse than ever, actually. I don't want to kill Divish's men. Where was he gone? Right, and left. No, and left. I got the wrong thing off there. I got caught in the tree, I was lucky. Smack him in the face. Stab, stab. 60% of the time, it works every time. Have I done the wrong thing, chat? Have I done the wrong thing? Oh, headcracker. He's unconscious, leave him. Is everyone else dead? Oh my god, is everyone dead? Is that him? No. He's got up and run off. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone, okay? I did not kill anyone. Uh, Talmberg. I'm pretty well liked, and nothing's kicked in there yet. Okay, that must be part of the quest. Must be all right. Hmm. Right. I can loot him. Well, is he going for it again, or is he just going to run? That's fine. I think. All right. My my part was upheld then, so. No idea what this means for the quest, but I'll just. Uh, <laughs> I don't need any more Grushin and stuff. So that was a fight. Objective failed, save Hanakin. Oh, crap. So that was a fail altogether then? 
I failed the quest. I upset that. Nope. Right, I was trying to be nice there. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. So, that one. Hmm. If everyone is dead, you can say what you like. <sighs> Valuable lesson learned today. Greasy glove and oxygen tank make a very big boom. Pan, what happened? That sounds like... Uh, that sounds like something very dangerous happened. Right, let me hey. out. Let me out. Get out, get out, get out. We have a, we have a lot to do today. Put that out. Put that out. Give me a trough. Give me some food. Trough. Food. I'm going to try that bit again. Although it is getting late. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It is. I just looked at the time. It's after 11 o'clock. Um, I'm going to go back and save anyway. We're washed and we're fed. And next stream, that's when we're going to sort this out. And we're going to figure out exactly what the hell's going on here. And I have to make a decision. A very potentially bad decision. I think it's going to work out okay. I'm going to quickly save this. And then, yeah. So Monday night, that's when we're going to find out whether helping Hannikin Hare is the correct course of action. Uh, oh, good night, Mikey Moot. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks to everyone else who's joined us on the stream tonight, of course. 